I guarantee that if you're watching this, you know exactly what it feels like to be disconnected from people, places, and things now that you're not drinking alcohol. It is a common struggle. You know what I'm talking about. The constant feeling of disconnection can be extremely overwhelming. You may find yourself isolating and avoiding social situations now, feeling like nothing will be interesting or enjoyable ever again. And you may be dealing with anxiety and a bit of depression because of the amount of alcohol that you were drinking. But the truth is, drinking alcohol just makes all of that so much worse. Studies have shown that alcohol decreases cognitive function and will remove your motivation to be in social situations. And that ultimately leads to the feeling of disconnection and loneliness. So even though alcohol seems like the quick escape from your boredom and loneliness, in reality, it only makes things worse. The good news is there are lots of different ways to reconnect with people, places, and things without drinking. And I'm here to share with you three things you could do right now to start feeling connected again without drinking. You gotta start small. Start taking small steps, literally, like going for a walk or even starting something new, like a hobby. Number two, don't be afraid to reach out and connect with people you already know. I know you might feel isolated, but there are people that are ready to hear from you. And if that feeling of isolation and disconnection is so overwhelming, you literally can't take the other two previous steps, then definitely consider speaking to a professional or someone who's been exactly where you've been. These are people that can help you work through those feelings of disconnection and loneliness safely. By taking those three small steps, you can start feeling connected to the world around you all while not drinking. It's important to remember that you're not alone and the only thing that you're seeking in your life is peace you deserve joy and fulfillment and you get good at anything you practice and remember sobriety doesn't guarantee happiness but happiness guarantees sobriety